Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Um, whenever you're watching this video, my name is Helen Lee. I'm an eighth grade religious education instructor for St. James here in Johnson City. I've been doing it 30 years with my husband, Lance Lee, um, for eighth grade and also two years for confirmation. We also, I taught at St. Patrick's in Binghamton, New York. Um, I taught second grade, and that was many years ago before we got married. Lance and I, my husband Lance Lee and myself, we've been married for 30 years. Yay! Success. And um, we, um, we love teaching, and we miss you all. And we wish we could be in a classroom with you or in the Owens Hall, but due to safety, um, and because of this COVID pandemic, we are really, really missing the contact with you guys. So because of that, we have to um, meet this way. So I've been a nurse for, a third, well, 40 years, recently retired because of medical reasons. My husband works for New York State Department of Transportation. He's been there for many years, and before that, Florida DOT, and before that, IBM. And my son is 26. He is also had taught religious ed in sixth grade many years ago. And um, he is now a certified therapeutic recreation specialist up in one of the children's homes here in New York State. So here we go with the lessons. Um, we have some lessons to go over um, in regards to many weeks. So we're going to briefly go over them, but we're going to make some important points. So if you see me looking down, I have my notes in front of me. Also, if you see my head shake, this is normal for me. Um, I had some injuries due to some surgery and my head bounces. It's called essential tremors. So here I am. This is what you get. <laughs> so if you see my head bouncing, it's okay. If I go like this, yes. If it's no, this. But if it's the other tremors, we have to get used to it. So here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, the week of, November, of October 25th, way back when, a whole month ago. Um, we are talking about Gospels, this great lesson plans that were given to us by, um, that we kind of all looked at and decided on were lessons plans and they're called visions. They're great. And they have to do with gospels and um, how we bring gospels into the modern life that we're in now. And now, especially with the COVID um, emergencies, we really, it's important that we go with and enjoy, enjoy our gospels and really learn from them because we really need God in our lives now. We need God to help us get through this COVID thing. So if by reading the Gospels and looking at the Gospels and bringing it to our modern day life, hopefully it will give us some peace on a weekly basis. So here we go. So the first Gospel reading, um, Jesus tells us, the disciples, that love is not so much an emotion, but an action, an action. It's an action towards our human beings, an action, how we deal with people in the community, how we do with our parents, our brothers, our sisters. Not so much just saying love, but really showing it in actions, being kind and gentle and compassionate and loving to our families, especially during this stressful time. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how love is important. And when you open up your book, which is, um, let me just show it to you so you know where we're going. This is the handout that um, Renee gave us. It's Visions, okay? And that's the cover. And it has the date on it, October 25th. And we're going to turn the page and we're going to talk about um, rescuers during the times of um, the Jewish um, Holocaust and how people went out of their way to save children from being killed by the Germans during the Holocaust. 
terrible dark time in our history. But what this showing is that the actions of saving these children and saving others and hiding them and getting to, them to Poland and having them adopted by Polish Catholic families save these children from being killed. What greater love is that is to save one's life? Think about that. It's actions, and that's what the gospel emphasized. It's actions on how we, how people would receive our love, how we can give our love, how we can give our love to our our families, our friends. We talk about ten, our Ten Commandments, and there's two commandments Jesus gives us that are the two greatest commandments. And the first commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Think about that. With all your heart, your soul, and your mind. With all your greatest mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. That's love. That's love. That you love, Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. You've turned yourself over to God. When we were baptized, we were baptized so that we would go out and love God. And what we did with our lives was up to us. And by loving God and loving Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind, that's, that is the greatest commandment. The second commandment is, you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Very true. Sometimes that's hard to do, isn't it? You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. The whole law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets depends on these two commandments. To love thy neighbors. Before this all happened with this COVID thing, we were able to go out, hands-on, help our love, our, our neighbors, our friends and families, you know, in a close proximity of each other. But now we have to stay safely at that six feet space in between. What can we do for them? Rake some leaves, do some grocery shopping, help them carry belongings, you know, at least to the porch or in the porch by staying away from them. Six feet apart, wear your mask. Hand washing. I'm not wearing my mask because I'm in my house. See that? Okay. But those are the two greatest commandments. And our lives as Catholics depend on that. Okay. So the prayer of the faithful is very important. We, in Mass, we have many parts of the Mass, and we're going to discuss that. But prayer of the faithful, it's called Liturgy of the Word. And what we do is, prayer of the faithful, prayer of the faithful is a universal prayer of the Church. It leads us to the second part of the Mass, which is the liturgy of the Eucharist. In these prayers, the prayer of the faithful, the members of the church ask God for all they need and for all the needs of the whole world. Amazing, isn't it? That's part of the Mass. And it's very important that we listen to that part also. That's right after the Gospel. We ask, the, we ask them to please help us, and we ask God to please help us and with our needs and to watch over us and to help us get through situations. 